Hi guys, Ben here from 100 N Man, and in this episode, podcast episode, I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should tell or not tell. Now, I'm obviously on my journey to Iron Man, and after which I think I have another exciting endurance event which I'm going to be holding close to my chest. And there is a temptation in all of these things to broadcast, especially with social media being a platform in which most people now seem to congregate of an evening, sadly, in my opinion. But nevertheless, it's a place where people go to air opinions, voices, and that kind of thing. And it can be a dangerous place to go, especially if you're looking to achieve something which which isn't in the normal remit of those friends and families or those connections that you're associated with. And there's very much a temptation in circumstances like that to... Again, it's society as a whole in the Western world to be belittled or to have an element of self-doubt projected onto you as a result of your enthusiasm. It's something I see quite a lot in the weight loss industry, uh, especially with people looking to lose weight indefinitely. And if they are mixing in circles that aren't supportive of that weight loss, they tend to become demoralized very quickly, especially if they failed or not achieved in the past a desired result. And I think it's because a number of people find that it highlights areas of their own life where they need to perhaps reflect slightly. Uh, It's certainly something that I've encountered in my own living days where I hear of people going off and achieving fantastic inspirational events, something that I would like to achieve. And actually there's one that's just popped to mind. And the person was clinically obese. They trained exceptionally hard. And I probably didn't give them the credit they needed. And I think the reason behind that, it was a reflection of me. It was a reflection of me failing or being unable to live through or persist through my own aspirations, my own dreams. So the reflection then became inward. I gauged them and their journey as an element of intimidation based on my own values, beliefs and self. Now, I've evolved a lot since then as a human as a as a being I act in the present and I very much take any emotional impact in my life as a reflection of where I am and simply a highlighter to reflect and act upon as opposed to looking with resentment envy and all of those trigger words so the question is to tell or not to tell you know if you're embarking on a fantastic journey of your own if you're making career changes I would spend a moment to just reflect about the type of company that you're keeping, whether they are going to be the supportive types or whether they are the type of individuals that don't particularly bond or adjust well when people are outdoing and achieving things that there's a very easy way to gauge that. Now, I appreciate supercars. I always have done since an early age. And there's a simple questioning tool. Now, that simple questioning tool is, would a person, when seeing someone, let's say in their early 20s, driving a supercar, would they look on in envy and make a comment that is derogative or unsupportive to that individual, perhaps even call them names or create stories as to how they've achieved it? Or would they take the approach and want to learn how that person's achieved it. Now, there's a very different approach in that mindset. One aspect of the individual is resentful, as it is a reflection of them, or they see it as a reflection of them. In the real world, it isn't, of course. And the second is what I call a knowledge buff. It's an individual that wants to know how they've done it so they can utilize similar strategies. The second is more productive in the long term. And certainly within sport, we can see the same. If someone's already achieving your goals, as I've said in previous podcasts, then it's time to go out there, seek, understand, and gain the knowledge that they have. And usually simply by asking questions, you can gain that knowledge and understanding as people who have achieved most of the time are happy to share the story. So to share or not to share, that is the question. I think it comes down to the type of company that you keep and only something that you can decide whether to open up to. The question would be, I guess, are they going to support, motivate, inspire you? Are they going to hold you accountable? Or are they going to belittle those dreams, aspirations? Are they going to remind you of previous failings? So that's it for today, this podcast. It was something that I was thinking about earlier on, just overhearing someone talking about another and 
it triggered some thoughts, some memories of my own, and I just thought I would share with you. So that's it for today. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit me up on social media, and let me know what podcast you would like to hear over the next coming weeks. Also, if you are interested in taking part and being interviewed or sharing your story on 100 N Man's podcast, then by all means, please do let me know. All the links are in the description and I'd love to hear from you. But for now, have a good day. Peace out. Be safe.